Good morning, everybody. Good. We had a great weekend. Glad you decided to join me this Monday morning. If you will, take uh, your Bible if you're in a position where you are able and join me in the book of Ephesians in the third chapter. And we'll be looking at the 19th verse. Paul is continuing to pray and to make requests on behalf of uh, the church, on behalf of the believers. And he says uh, his next request is that we would know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. And he, it's a very straightforward uh, request is that uh, we would become more aware uh, of the love of God, the love of Christ in our life that is beyond all knowledge, that uh, is almost incomprehensible. It's uh, really um, pretty much impossible for us uh, to grasp um, and fully understand uh, the love of God uh, that was shown to us through Christ Jesus. Uh, I think all of us, every believer, recognizes surely that uh, that God loved us, uh, that his uh, gift of his son at Calvary was uh, a sacrifice like no other, but um, honestly, we uh, it really, uh, it just it, it surpasses knowledge, as Paul says. It's beyond uh, our, our understanding that someone uh, would love us that much. Someone would do uh, that much for us. And Paul says, I, I just want you to grow deeper in that knowledge. I want you to um, experience and understand more, learn more, uh, about how God loves us. And so he prays that. And uh, what a great prayer, uh, again, to, to pray for ourselves and for others. Uh, Lord, just, well, just help me to understand more fully uh, your love. Uh, and again, that would be, uh, you know, pray that for me. I'll, I will appreciate it. Uh, I'll pray that for you, uh, that we would understand, uh, again, the, uh, the depth, uh, of the love uh, of God. And again, there, there's numerous passages that uh, talk about it. There's a, a, an old saying, and, and I won't get it worded as beautifully as it was, but it, uh, again, you, you probably heard it, uh, but it says, if all the ocean was ink and all the stalks of the ground were, were pins and all the sky was parchment, uh, we still wouldn't have enough uh, paper, pen, or ink to write uh, about the the love uh, of God, and uh, I said it. Um, uh, matter of fact, it just, uh, I just, it just uh, as I'm kind of working here un under the scene here, and I, I just found the exact quote. It says, "Could we with ink the ocean fill, and were the skies of parchment made, were every stalk on earth a quill, and every man a scribe by trade, to write the love of God above would drain the ocean dry, nor could the scroll contain the whole, though stretched from sky to sky. O love of God, how rich and pure, how measureless and strong, it shall forevermore endure the saints and angels' song. What a great statement. Uh, my prayer for you today is that you'll experience the love of God a little deeper and a little more uh, than you ever had before. That you'll have, as Paul prays, that you'll have a little bit more knowledge. Uh, and because of that, that you'll just be filled with the fullness of God. That you would be overwhelmed uh, with the love of God as that uh, just fills your heart, your mind, your very being to understand how much. God loves you. Have a good day, and we'll see you here uh, tomorrow morning.